once again, on behalf of the Friends of 36 Oaks Division, Harrington Fergus Association, we bid you all a very warm welcome for joining with us on our annual service of commemoration. Can our association thank everyone involved in this service, the Church of Ireland, the Oaks of Belvedere, Slipman, the Borough Council, the Sunny Lodge of Woodman Reenactment Group, the Marshals, and not forgetting all of you. We gather here today at St Nicholas Church of Ireland to pay tribute to Sir Sergeant Thomas George Wardley, D Company, 14th Battalion, Royal Irish Rifles, Young Citizen Volunteer. And also as a mark of respect and remembrance to all those who serve with such valour in the 36th Officer Division. It is really important that we remember the commitment and determination of Irish Unionists 100 years ago as men and women from this and every town and village saying the Ulster Solomon Lee and Covenant determined to defend their British birthright. We acknowledge with pride that many felt that they would defend these rights by any all means necessary. In Kerry Fergus, the formation of the 3rd Battalion of the local Ulster Volunteers showed and proved their opposition to the Home Rule crisis. As history now shows, with the outbreak of World War I, Many of those volunteers from Carrick Fergus, along with many other like minded people from other cities, towns, and villages, were placed at the disposal of the Empire and went off to war. Many would never return and re remain interred on foreign soil. Our grateful thanks remain with those brave men and women for that sacrifice. One of those soldiers was Sergeant Thomas George Wortley, who, although from Belfast, grew up in Carrick Fergus. Thomas Woodley chose to enlist in the Young Citizens Volunteers. The YCV applied for membership in the Ulster Volunteer Force and became a battalion of its Belfast Regiment. During the First World War, the YCV as a unit formed the 14th Battalion of the Royal Irish Regiment, part of the Ulster, sorry, part of the 36th Ulster Division. We must also reflect and remember the 100th anniversary of the Gallipoli Campaign and the sacrifice made by the Irish and Anzac troops. I have no doubt that word of the sacrifice, death and destruction that took place in that campaign from the 21st of April 1915 till the 9th of January 1916 would have been reported back among the men and women of the 36th Ulster Division and the, and the Irish Divisions. We cannot imagine what they must have been, must, what they must have thought when they received the news of the devastation of Gallipoli. They were brave men and women, each and every one. In honour of Thomas Wortley, his, his family erected this headstone in these grounds as a reminder of a true Ulster man who gave his life for his family, friends and country. And with pride it gives our association a pending link to Sergeant Thomas George Wortley and his comrades for their courage and commitment to re remain British citizens from a not too distant past. And that's what brings us together here today to pay our respects. We as members of the 36th Ulster Division Carrick Fergus Association are proud to have the company of so many of you here today with us. We share our belief that the sacrifice borne by men like Sergeant Worley should and never will be forgotten. World War I was meant to be the war to end wars, but there were many bloody battles and lives lost, with families and communities destroyed before the war was to end. When Thomas Worley was known as Platoonist Tommy. All his men agreed that they could not ask for a better sergeant. He was fearless, nothing was too much trouble. Sergeant Wardley was fatally wounded on the first day of the Battle of the Scenes on the 7th of June 1917 at 33 years of age. His remains are interred in Spambrogham British Cemetery in Flanders Fields. It was reported he met his death like a hero, fearlessly, fearlessly leading his platoon, a fine example of what British Stone Commission officers should be. Our battalion our company have lost a very capable NCO, but we, we, but we, his platoon, have lost an elder brother who looked after the interests of every one of us, and his memory will never remain with us as an example and help was reported back from this truth. Historically, as it was at this battle that the 36th Ulster Division fought side by side with the 16th Irish Division, with all their differences that they may have had at home being put aside in pursuit of defeating the enemy. Remember, Ireland then was united on part of the British Empire. 
The target of the offensive was Basim's Ridge. The assault was conducted entirely by the British Second, Ar the British Second Army. Orders were given for the planting of 19 mines, which were put below the German positions. After a continuous and prolonged British artillery bombardment, the order was given to detonate the mines. The casualties exceeded the The 36th Ulster Division, along with the 16th Irish and the 18th British, advanced and successfully captured the village of Wajit and secured their objectives. The Battle of Messines was a total success. The assault had secured all its objectives in less than 12 hours. Although successful, the 36th Ulster Division suffered ha heavy losses. Casually, the 36th Ulster Division stood at 61 officers and 1,058 soldiers of all the ranks. And during this battle, the Sergeant Thomas George Wortley lost his life. Today, we also pay tribute to Sapper. 218325 Hugh Madol of the Railway Troops of Canadian Regiment. Hugh was born was here in Carrick Fergus in July 1887 and according to the 1901 census lived just across the street from this graveyard at 29 North Street. Hugh and his family moved to Canada where he enlisted on the 30th of January 1917. Hugh paid the, the supreme sacrifice dying of his wounds in Birmingham, England on the 14th, or sorry, the 15th of August, 1917, age 30. We return to this cemetery. You receive the Victory Medal and the British War Medal. Also buried in this cemetery was the first battalion with the connection with the recently established Ulster Division, Private James Craig, a member of North Belfast Regiment of the Ulster Volunteers, 15th Battalion, Irish Rifles. We were serving at Molly Kindler Camp, and when undergoing training, took ill and unfortunately died in Belfast Military Hospital on the 6th of October 1914. Private James Craig, son of the late Mr. David Craig of Glenfield, Eden, Carrick Fergus, was accorded full military honours and was interned in this, in this churchyard. The student was supported with a, milit with a uniformed military firing party accompanied by a number of Membership. This church lot yard, like many in our province, of brave men and women of the Ulster divisions, all our British armed forces and security forces, we and the friends of the 36th Ulster Division, Carrick Fergus Association, remember these people with pride. Let us today remember the pride of those servicemen and women from two world wars from previous and current conflicts who have sacrificed much and fought valiantly with many giving their lives in order that we may have the freedom and security that we cherish and take for granted today. And may we also keep in our thoughts both members of Her Majesty's Armed Forces currently serving in areas of conflict at home and around the world. Act of remembrance. They shall grow not old as they, we let our death grow old. Each shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we shall remember them.
When you go home, tell them I mustn't say, for your tomorrow, we give our today. Friends of 36 Social Division, Carrie Ferris. Friends of the 36th Ultra Division, Karen Castle. West Day. A 
Als er een association moet lijken, dan ben ik het noem. Dat Tarek Ladies, so 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 association, is lijken een reef. En Sergeant Wardley's grave at this minute in Flanders Fields. We're now going to lay a reef at Sapper, Madol, and Private Craig. After the band has played the national anthem, we would ask everyone to form up here for a short parade back round to the town hall, where you're all welcome to join us for some food and refreshments. Thank you for your participation.